everybody. I'm here at Crumbs and Doilies in Soho. I had to start my day right with a cup of my favourite coffee because today is bakery tour day. Yes, it's been ages since we did a bakery tour and there's been so many wonderful openings in London over the past couple of years. I thought it was about time I showed you some. So I'm actually going to start with Buns From Home because my friend Matt has got an amazing little collab going on there. But we're not going to stop there. I'm going to take you all around to West London. We've never done that before. So anyway, follow me. I'm here at Buns From Home in Baker Street. My old mate Matt Adlard is doing a special collab for one day only. One of their traditional hand-rolled croissant buns filled with like strawberries and pistachios and amazing stuff, all in celebration of his new book. So we're gonna go in and get ourselves one and also have a little chat to Matt. Hiya. Yeah. So when you get into the bakery, it just smells so, so good. It smells like butter and cinnamon bit of cardamom I'm getting in the air and they're well known for their cinnamon and cardamom buns but they're also there's loads and loads of other versions like filled with delicious creme pats and mousses and I'm just gagging for Matt's one which just looks so stunning pristine just like all of his bakes oh look do I get to be on camera you are on camera oh my gosh you're so chest. hot and I'm I don't boiling. mean I mean you obviously are but he's also giving off a, I'm a lot of heat lot. I'm like overwhelmed honestly it's like emotional people are being so kind. Why like... didn't anybody would turn up? <laughs> what? I thought there were like two people waiting. We're, we're going to do ours next? Yeah, so okay. we are actually going to be doing a collaboration very soon, so watch this space. Tell us about your bake. So this is a strawberry pistachio bun with a strawberry compote, almond pistachio financier, Ooh. mascarpone, <laughs> vanilla cream, it's got quinelle on top, a tempered chocolate stick, crushed pistachio and gold leaf. Now tell me truthfully, the quinelle, have we done it with a spoon oh, or no, have we no, done no, it with a mould? with a mould. Because <laughs> there's 400 buns. And you must be so proud. I'm really, yeah. Have you, have you called your parents and FaceTimed no, them? No, I, mean, I sent a message at like 7am and then I, I haven't been on my phone. Oh wow, here we go. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoy it. I saw you making these little chocolate things. Yes. And it looked so satisfying. I'm actually uh, quite amazed at how... Honestly, you're going to take them to the sun and they'll go, ooh, they'll just Ooh. smell. But right now, on camera... They look beautiful. The well, yes. we're going to make sure we get some like sexy pics of those. Well, I hope you enjoy it. Thank you again for coming. Aww. It really means a lot, honestly. I can't wait to eat these. Doing a bakery tour video. Go, where are you <laughs> go? um, we're going to go to Kima, up the road in Warren Street. Very, very happy to be out in this sun, but I need to get in here to Kima Cafe, which is a cafe in Warren Street. It is known for its coffee from Yemen. It's a social enterprise, actually, and what they do is they, for every, they, they work tree to cup, which is really unusual. For every cup of coffee you buy here, they give a coffee tree to the farmers in Yemen. They also have coffee from other parts of the world, but it's a really, there's a really strong Yemeni connection here, but also, <laughs> While the coffee does sound amazing and I'm definitely going to get myself one, I'm not here for the coffee guys, you know me, I'm here for the sweet stuff and they have an amazing pastry chef or a team of pastry chefs inside churning out really delicious, really unusual cakes and things, so I've got to head in there to Kima Cafe, here we go. I love a camelé. My favourite thing, like, out of these is going to be the pistachio cream pasta. Okay. Filled really nicely, and like the pistachio cream comes out well from these ones. I really love the Yemeni honey juice bag. It's mm -hmm. gonna be like a very like I think these are very special to us because the jute bag kind of represents where we get our coffee from. Yeah. So it's like from Yemen and Colombia is where we source most of our coffee. How is the how is <laughs> how is it made into a bag? Like what is? It's a mold. Oh okay. It's be like a cream, um, and then we like put it in a mold and then spray paint with Yemen. Wow, it's so sweet. I love food which looks like things, you know? <laughs> Something special is happening in the Canale land. Look, can you see that? Over there, it looks so cool. There's some very fun looking drinks happening. What's this, what is this tea? Is, that, is it pea flower? Exactly, yeah. 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 Oh, nice. Thank you so much. Right, let's uh, got little coffee pot things. My grandpa used to make coffee like that. 
So I've created a ball of ice drinks in front of your coffee. Oh, thank you so much. Have a lovely day. Enjoy your thank you so much, ladies. I've already drunk half of it because it's really, really delicious. This, it was an iced ruby latte. It's got like coconut milk, raspberry bits. It's so yummy. But hey, guess what, guys? I don't even have to go too far for the next one because it's literally over the road. We're going to Meow. I've always wanted to go to this in a bakery tour, but every time we plan one, it's always at the end and they're always <laughs> closed or have sold out. So it's great news because we're actually here quite early. I mean, sort of. It's actually not that early. But it's early enough, hopefully, to get something delicious from Miel on Warren Street. You heard it here. <gasps> wow. Look at all the beautiful things everywhere. Apparently the palmiers are really good. Yeah, they're in the window. Look at them, all shiny and glistening. I love a pan space. I only just discovered these the other day. They're like laminated dough with like custard and chocolate chips like, yes i'll say yes to that look at these little bakewell tarts aren't they sweet and what's this one that's a buckwheat sablé breakfast so it's a tonight, like a biscuit based food. Can I get one of those as well, please? Oh, I got a tote bag. Isn't that lovely? I mean, it's even better because it's full of delicious things. I'm here at Hatchy Beyond Bakery. This is, we're just in the heart of Notting Hill and it's giving me like crazy Notting Hill vibes. Um, it's a really lovely day, it's beautiful, got a real buzz in the air. There are Japanese pastry chefs back in the kitchen and they are churning out some delicious shokupan, which is one of my favorite kinds of bread, mainly because it's so perfectly cuboid in shape and really soft and delicious. Um, and I'm gonna grab myself a loaf of that. And also, I want one of these pistachio New York rolls, which are hopefully filled with something really delicious. But also, because um, obviously we're eating a lot of sweet food today, I have my eye on this little spiky number, an onion curry pan. I need to know more about this. It just looks so, so cool. I'm getting like crouton deep fried vibes. I wanna know what it is, so I'm gonna get one. Follow me. Hello. Ooh, cute. Look at these little guys. Fruity Sandos. Can you tell me about the onion curry puff? The sweet onion. Sweet onion. So it's savoury but a yes, little sorry. bit sweet. Yeah. Is it deep fried? Yes. Mm. What is the stuff inside? It's curry, basically. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Do you mind to add off on the chef's Oh, I don't. I don't mind at all how high tech. I'm going to do it. Well, this is a very exciting development. because I'm so sweaty and it's oh, disgusting. Okay, Nobody yeah. should have to be put through how that. Are you doing? Fine, thank you. How are you? Yeah, good. But thankfully, yours is the last bakery. Yes, it's the okay. last one on our list. Well, we'll make sure we load you guys up. Yes. All kinds of things. So, I met Abby seven years, six. How long have you yeah, been going? Quite a while. Quite a while. Ago. Long time. So, well, about, yeah, I'd say about six years ago. Yeah. Or so, yeah. when you first started, you used to trade yeah. at the same market as me. Yeah, yeah. On Duke of York Square in Chelsea, if you don't know. And you were selling your little shoe buns. I'm assuming yeah. back then you were making it all from home, like I was. 
So I did have, I'm not sure what, what time that was, but I was renting a commercial kitchen, like a basement kitchen, and sort of working ah, at night. And oh, wow. I was living, at, I moved back into my parents' flat, and there was, yeah, you don't want to be working with your parents in the same kitchen as them. So no. I rented, um, I could only afford the night rate at like a, um, a kitchen in made of ale yeah so I think it was then that I was doing the market so I was making everything at night and then coming in the day to like sell on those oh sell my gosh market. yeah yeah hardcore yeah. we always have we have nine flavors yeah there's always just one that we, we rotate uh -huh. so we always do like one sort of seasonal special like that we have um, milk chocolate passion fruit salted caramel fudge lemon meringue uh, Madagascan vanilla, coffee caramel, the peaches and cream, which is the flavour of the month, pistachio white chocolate, um, hazelnut chocolate. I'm going to go for the salted caramel one first because I just love salted caramel. This is quite a lot of pressure with the actual chef just literally standing there and watching my every move. Mm, that's so good. What have we got in here? What, what have we got in here? Caramel crème which is kind of oh. similar to like a, a crème pâtissière, like a mm -hmm. crème pâte. But we add, but it's, um, it's, you'd make a kind of caramelly milk and then we add loads of butter. Nice. Favorite, and um, double cream. And I love how like there's a little bit of crunch, but it's not like a crunch, you know, it's not like a crunchy thing. A little bit of like, it's like a little sugary, crunchy texture. Mm -hmm. Peaches and cream. Let's see what's going on inside. I'm going to take his little hat off. Inject it with something. Inject it with like a peachy yeah, so compote. Yeah, so it's like a, a peach cream, and then we add also like a peach compote, so we make like a fresh peach compote Lovely. inside. I like this situation too because what can happen is like this is what Dane likes to do, isn't it? Yeah. Scoop it. Eat it. Abby's just treated us to a soft serve, which wasn't even on my radar until I walked in. Popcorn flavour with a sort of caramel sauce. Basically made popcorn and then we infused it in the milk, boiled milk, put popcorn in, let it sit overnight to really get that kind of popcorn flavour. Mm. Alright then, let's, uh, let's do this. Really subtle and really delicious and it's got a bit of salty sweet thing going on. Salty sweet thing it's my jam. Yeah. Mm. And also... Get the popcorn flavour without getting it all in your mm -hmm. you know, Sorry about that weird noise. <laughs> <laughs> um, mm, that's delicious. Now I know I've got a team of people here who are also eyeing this ice cream. It's absolutely ridiculous. It's like hotter than the sun outside. So I'm going to have to get three more spoons for Dane, Nikki and Jess. We're all going to go and eat this ice cream and try and cool down a little bit. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Okay, so I've got my little picnic here. Um, it has been so hot, I'm actually really glad that the sun has like just ducked back behind a building and I'm on Carnaby Street. I'm really conspicuously about to eat like all of this stuff. Starting with buns from home. Now obviously we ate um, Matt's strawberry and pistachio bun, but I actually left with a cardamom bun as well because that's my favorite of, the, of their regular bakes that they do. And let's have a little go. It's got a really sticky bun. That's the best bit, where all the like sugar comes out of the inside and like caramelizes on the bottom. Mm, so fluffy. A lovely bit of crisp on the outside, but really fluffy inside. And I'm amazed. Anna from Buns From Home told us they have a three hour window. They sell their bakes, but if they don't sell within three hours, then they're gone. They have to bake more because they don't want anyone to have a bake that is more than three hours old. Like, how amazing is that? And actually, you can really taste it because this tastes like it only just came out of the oven. You can see all the lovely layers of laminated croissant dough. And this is like the crispy outer shell, which is, I don't know if you can hear that, I'll put it in my mic, really crispy. Bit of crunch, bit of chew, bit of stickiness, a bit of fluffiness. It's got everything you want. So delicious. Mm. Okay, so next we went to Kima, the lovely cafe with all the lovely Yemeni coffee. And we've got a bunch of stuff, but I love a cannelé. So he gave us very kindly, they gave us a whole selection of beautiful, beautiful cannelés. I can't actually remember all the flavours, but I can see we've got pistachio, we've got matcha, and I think this is like a caramel hazelnut number. I don't care, because just, I just love a cannelé, whether it's matcha, whether it's raspberry, whatever. So here we go, get some, um, I'll just bite into it, why not? 
So a classic cannelle should have a really like slightly crispy, almost chewy skin, and then inside be really custardy and like squishy. And this has got all of that. What's this? Hmm, a lovely kind of hazelnut praline stuff. Look at that crust. Right, next was miel, which was on the same road, literally a stone's throw, which was very convenient. And I, they've got loads of really amazing stuff. They do lots of amazing, like, laminated venoiserie. But I really, Nikki actually said, they do really good palmiers. So I got myself a couple of these little guys. And look at the shine and the crispy crunch on that. Oh, God. Mmm. So, so, so buttery. And all that lovely caramelized bits on the bottom and all over the top. I feel like they're very, they're, they're like an easy thing to make, but they're probably quite difficult to get tasting of this good. I'm actually quite scared of this because it's so big. I mean, look at him. He's like the size of my face, pretty much. Actually quite light. The guy in the shop said it was going to be full of pistachio cream. Oh. <gasps> okay, we've got... Mmm, just a really lovely croissant dough. I've actually got quite a lot of filling inside. Like, really delicious in the way that like a really good pistachio ice cream is delicious, like you can really taste the nuts. Now, I, it would be remiss of me not to try the onion curry, curry puff. It does actually feel really puffy and it smells. It really reminds me of markets when I used to do food markets and it feels really nice. It's like weighty, but also a bit squishy. <gasps> Whoa, I'm not getting that on my white shirt. That is gonna stain. <laughs> Whoa. Mm. It actually tastes, I kind of was expecting it to taste like this. Right, but so crispy. Did you hear that crunch? I'll do it again. Mm. <laughs> that stuff in the middle, that's so nice. What a lovely little like thing to just take off for lunch with you one day. You know, stick it in your bag, little lunch snack. Mm. We already did eat the shoe in Le Chou, but it would be a shame to miss out while we've got them all out, you know? So here we go. I think if memory serves, this was the passion fruit one. Mmm, that's curd. That is the butteriest curd I've ever, ever, ever tasted. And really tangy with the, with the passion fruit, like almost wincingly so. Puckeringly sour, which is how I like these things. Like, I hate it when things that are supposed to be sour just aren't. I think it's curd all the way through. Please, please go and visit some of these places, check them out. They're all wonderful. Like, we wouldn't tell you it to go somewhere if we weren't in love with it ourselves. And I know a lot of you love doing the bakery tours and love like following the tours and, and doing it in the same order and stuff. And it really warms my cockles when you tell us that you've done one. So please, if you do do it, tell us in the comments box below. Let me know if there's anywhere else you want me to go. We're adding to our map all the time. So if you've got somewhere that you think cannot be missed, let us know and we'll pop it on the map. I will see you next time.